Hey everyone, this is Ivan, and this time I am driving um, to get some stuff for my friend Eliza, who's in um, Korea right now. Um, she is a teacher. She's teaching English to Korean children. And uh, I am going to buy her some stuff that I'm going to send over there. Um, she's going to be teaching um, some of these kids about Mexico. And since I live in the border, you know, I live on the border. I am in Juarez right now. And... Um, I'm gonna see what I can find. I'm gonna see if I can get her something, like a pretty blouse, or um, I was thinking some other Mexican items like candy or maybe postcards that she can go ahead and share and use to, um, damn, this street is horrible, um, that she can use to um, share a little bit of the Mexican culture with her students. So um, I'm gonna go see uh, what I can find. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit, bye. Okay guys, we're, we're here where we're gonna go and see what we can find for my friend Eliza and I brought Mike along so I can get a second opinion on what to buy. How are you doing today? Doing fine. Uh, really excited to be here. Yes. You, you remember Eliza, right? Yeah. Remember when we went to her party and um, she got to meet you? So she's in Korea, so anything you want to say to her? Well, when did she came back? When does she come back? Um, I don't know when she's gonna come back, but um, I guess it just depends on like when when Scott is discharged. I don't know. Scott is her husband, and um, yeah, I remember Scott. That's yeah, um, very very nice couple. Um, very friendly, very quirky. So we're gonna see how we uh, can help her out with this class and hopefully share some uh, of our culture with her. So we'll see what we can find. Okay, you guys, well, we're walking into the shopping mall um, where we're going to buy um, something for Eliza. And this is what it looks like. That's S-Mart. And that's like a, like a Mexican grocery store here on the border. And this is what malls look like here. They have a big sign for discounts and stuff. And um, apparently Mike didn't want to wait for me, so I'll go ahead and catch up with him. Okay, so this is the store that um, we're gonna come in, go into and see what what we can find. As you can see, they have some clothes out here and they have a lot of like Mexican jewelry. They have silver and a bunch of earrings and bracelets and there's a Mexican flag and fans. So we'll go ahead and see. I'm actually afraid that people are gonna say something to me if I'm recording, so I'm probably going to stop and see if I can record anything at all, but um, this is a story. recording here? I'm sorry, I'm not from here. Well, go where you belong. Whatever. Anyway, this is what a Mexican mall looks like, guys. Pretty standard, pretty, a lot of stores. And I wanted to get a picture, I wanted to record the little train. There's a little train, as you can see right there. And they give kids rides, so... That's something interesting in this mall, there's a jewelry store. And we're going to go into the store and see what we can find. Okay, well, we already bought some of the things um, that I liked. There really wasn't um, a lot that I really wanted to look for. Um, but I got some of these postcards. These are postcards from um, the Chamizal Park here in Juarez. And this is what it looks like. And then I got another one from uh, one of the bridges. This is the downtown bridge on the Juarez side. And um, I'm thinking just Eliza can just show these kids um, what is on the other side of the city that she came from, you know, which was El Paso, Texas. So this is what it looks like. And I got this other one of a museum that's here in Juarez, downtown Juarez. This um, used to be um, the, uh, where the where the uh, mayor was, um, the mayor offices. And uh, now it's the municipal center uh, for the arts. So I got her those three. And then I got her this little banner that says Viva Mexico. So... She can just use it um, for her class. And the last thing that we got, and this is the most exciting thing, this is a blouse. Ta -da! This is what it looks like, and it's very comfortable. It's um, it's made of this very lightweight cotton material, and it's very colorful, as you can see. This is 100% handmade, and it's um, as Mexican as you can get. So um, she was asking me to um, get her something for her to wear in class. And so this is what we got her, and I hope that she gets it on time. Uh, I hope her kids enjoy it, and I hope they can um, get a little bit of a taste of Mexico, which is um, what she wanted to do for um, Cinco de Mayo for her class. So uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Eliza, I hope you like the stuff, and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon.
Bye-bye.